Well, as you can see, the melt is on. And uh, so we're out bailing. We're out bailing today. Let me get this tractor shut off and we'll start this video. A bunch of waste from over the winter. Alrighty then. So, purpose of the video, buying used balers. Uh, somebody mentioned that the other day uh, on a Facebook post. And so I thought, well, why not? With the 5070 that I bought used in Texas with the help of Will Sowers from Sowers Cattle Company. who just put a, a new video up on his Super Slicer. Uh, so check that out, Sowers Cattle Company. Um, thought I would go over what I think is important when you're looking for a used baler. So, oh shit. Yeah, anyway, uh, most of the balers are the, the same. Uh, New Holland really hasn't changed much over the years. Uh, I took the shield off to do a repair and got in a hurry and didn't put it back on yet. So anyway, you can see this one is a hydraulic, hydraulic tensioner. Uh, this canister has a leak. Uh, on the bottom gasket, so I got to get that replaced, and that's why that shield's not back on yet. But anyway, just uh, just when you're looking, just look at these flywheels. See that there isn't any major spots of paint missing off of them. They're you know that they've had a catastrophic failure. Check out your slip clutch. Make sure your slip clutch is is working accurately. Uh, even take a look at the uh, at the shear bolt in the in the flywheel and make sure that it it you know it it's not all chewed up. Not the bolt itself, but the area that it goes into. You know, you just check your general chains. You shake your plunger arm, make sure there's no play in it. Like you see that one's pretty tight. Make sure that there's no obvious marks. Of, you know, it's been destroyed or, or you know, pounded on pretty hard. Um, and then you get to the nodders. The nodders are, the nodders are something that you don't want to mess with if you don't have to. Um, the best thing you can do is just look the nodders over to make sure that everything looks the same you know both nodders are in the same positions you know you can take your wrench check uh check your uh check to see that all the bolts are tight and uh bit, one of the biggest things with nodders is and uh, is making sure that they're in time so hopefully you're looking at a baler that's that's uh in the lot and there's not a bunch of straw on it and if there is i'd suggest you take it out and the best way to do that is is to uh, uh, when your plunger face comes forward and your and your trip arm is tripped. So when it's in this position down here on this wheel, as your your nodder arm comes forward, when it breaks the plane of the bottom of the baler. It should be within three quarters of an inch of the the plate. There's like a little triangle lead protection plate that's on your plunger. It should be there. So look at that. And then what you do, what I suggest you do is, is that you take this pin out. Take this pin out. You pick this nodder arm, this nodder arm up to about here and you let it go. And if it falls properly, it should it shouldn't slam down you know like you want to buy a baler that's you know you're going to pay good money you want to put it in the field right away you know you, you want them to be good to go and and like i try as best i can to help guys out when they you know especially on facebook pages that you know they're having trouble with timing these balers you know and and you're messing with chains and all kinds of stuff like that if you're if you're timing a new holland baler don't mess with the drive chains up front take that cap off right there there's a cotter pin in behind it. Get your nodder assembly in the correct position, timed with the plunger, and you just move it by hand at that point, and then set this, this your, well, what it does is drive your pickup, but set that back on there, and then, you know, play with it. Go back and forth, back and forth. And if it doesn't trip twice by hand properly, you got a problem. Always run them by hand when you buy them. Make sure that they're tripping properly. Um, you know because it gets expensive 
you bust one of these cam gears, she's about $400 Canadian. You bust the knife arm that, that does your wiping off your uh, off your uh, bill hooks, it's $254 Canadian. This gear set, it's huge. It's big money. It's $1,500 bucks a side to do an order, I would say. By the time you're all said and done, time and everything, it's it gets expensive. So, you know, make sure all your nuts and bolts are in it. You know, get them to spin it. Don't buy nothing that people aren't willing to spin over for you. You know, even if you're just running it dry, just make sure that, you you know, you can adjust the tension on them and it goes up and down. Anyway, I'm going to run out of battery, so that's my video for today. Hope everybody's having a great day. Be safe with this coronavirus. Don't take any chances. Bye now.